Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're, uh, well, looking at a picture. I know it seems odd, doesn't it? Anyway, this was uh, such a screen grab that the Gobo King came across, um, having a look at the Twitch stream that uh, Total War have put up at the moment, and uh, just, yeah, it's just the soundtrack is playing. But anyway, they're showing a load of different uh, DLC, you know, and their offers, basically. And uh, the pre-order bonus here, you know, for Curse of the Vampire Coast, boom, new picture, showed up on the stream. And, well, look, it's a new map, clearly. There's, this it hasn't been seen before, big old wrecked ship. In the middle of the land, um, conifers, I presume these are. That's fun. And this, I don't think this is the Vortex, guys. I don't think this is the Vortex. Um, so this map, big shipwreck. It's clearly Vampire Coast, because, well, it says Curse the Vampire Coast. And uh, no, I don't think this is the Vortex. I think this is more of a maelstrom, like this thing. I think this could be the Galleon's Graveyard. Uh, so pirates have long been suspicious folk, believing in tales that the more rational folk would find incredulous. Among their superstitions is the tale of the Galleon's Graveyard, a mystical realm infested with the unliving and a source of a curse upon the seas of the world that when a ship sank, its wreck would vanish completely overnight. Some dismiss such occurrences as being the work of sea monsters or savage currents, but the rumours persisted that this is the work of more malevolent forces. And so it was, uh, for in the for it was in this foul realm that Count Noctilus made his lair, and from its cursed denizens that he raised the Dreadfleet. So, uh, Dreadfleet being like a sort of, uh, I don't know, up to date, like a sort of an updated Man of War Corsair game, I think? Like it was a tabletop fleet game. But anyway, Count Noctilus was a character, and he was a zombie pirate, or something. Um, anyway, so, um, the Maelstrom. There we go, Maelstrom. See? 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 Maelstrom. Yeah, see what, I'm, see what I'm getting at? So, at the heart of the Galleon's graveyard lies the Maelstrom, a sentient whirlpool that pulls shipwrecks, the plunder, and the dead of the sea beyond the veil. It is here that Count Noctilus bides his time, making his lair amidst the corpses of long-dead sea monsters and islands scoured by unnatural winds to breach the ethereal boundary of the Galleon's graveyard. Um, is all but impossible. Uh, Roth only managed to do so by using the arcane moon dial left. I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't care. Honestly, Shh, go away. So, um, yeah. So, uh, also, um, Count Noctilus. So, who, who's he? Uh, supposedly, he's this guy. Up here. Okay, I'll zoom in more. There we go. So, uh, supposedly, that's this guy. Yeah, from this other screenshot. Yeah, that's right. So, this big boy's a mount for, for Noctilus. Or can be, I suppose. So, um, yeah. That's kind of it, honestly. That's, uh, that's what I've got for you. So, new map. And that's potentially the Maelstrom, and this is possibly the Galleon's Graveyard. I mean, this looks like a Galleon. Doesn't it? I mean, close enough, right? You know, you get the gist. Um, so this could be what that is. So this could be, you know, Count Noctilus's realm. So I don't know if this might be a quest battle, or, I don't know, it could actually just be a map. You might actually be able to go to the Maelstrom on the map at some point. I don't know. Um, we'll find out, I guess, but, I mean, there's a battle map with the Maelstrom in it, by the looks of it. I mean, that's kind of what I'm assuming this is. So, uh, also makes me think, is this underwater? I have no idea. I don't know how this works. So, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all I've got for you. So, um, yeah, cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you're excited. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys.